Whenever we yawn, <sighs> we use the muscles in our mouth and tongue, and the contact can squeeze some of the saliva-producing glands. As a result, we might squirt a tiny stream of saliva without even noticing it, but it'll reach out a foot or more. I had a friend in college who could do that at will. It was impressive. It turns out that saliva is basically filtered blood. Blood is processed thanks to special glands, and special cells absorb its properties. After that, the blood becomes saliva. Moving on, if your brain were a USB drive, it would be totally insane. Our brain capacity is somewhere between 10 and 100 terabytes. Some scientists claim the full spectrum can reach 2.5 petabytes. Sounds like a dog snack, doesn't it? When the size of the full English version of Wikipedia was calculated back in 2010, it was only 5.6 terabytes. Our body heat can boil a half a gallon of water in 30 minutes, even when we're idle. Yeah, we should try that. Our brain can perform up to 10 quadrillion operations per second with 10 watts of power only. A computer that could do the same would need about 1 gigawatt of power. This amount could power up to 300,000 houses. Your memory is affected by your body position. For example, you're much more likely to recall a situation where you wave to someone if you stand and wave again. Your brain has millions of neurons. They're all different, and the speed of connection between them is different too. That's why you can recall some information faster than others. Our nerve impulses, though, are super slow compared to the speed of electricity. Neurons can speed up to 275 miles per hour, even slower than the world's fastest car. Still, it's pretty fast because your brain needs to respond to stuff like pain or tickles. The brain itself, by the way, can't feel pain. It has no nerve endings of its own. People with red-colored hair are 1% of all people. 2% are natural blondes. So yeah, most people you see with these hair colors have dyed hair. Black is the most common hair color in the world. Hair is not only strong, but also elastic. It can stretch about 30% of its length when it's wet. The average hair growth rate is 6 inches per year. So if you never cut your hair until you're, say, 80 years old, your hair will have grown up to 480 inches, about the height of a four-story building. Still, it's not quite possible because our hair length is programmed genetically. A human eye resembles a car engine. Both of them need liquid for good lubrication. The engine needs oil, and the eye needs tears. To make sure the eyes work right, tears are distributed all over them. That's why we blink more than 10,000 times a day. The eye muscle is the fastest muscle in our bodies. We can blink 5 times per second and even more. We spend about 6 seconds blinking every minute. During the day, we spend 30 minutes in complete darkness just because we close the eyes, not even including the time when we sleep. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea of the eye. The only thing it needs to work well are tears and fluid in front of your eyes. Most scientists agree that tears that appear out of emotion are a unique human feature. No other animal is capable of crying because of sadness or joy. The pupils narrow and expand in order to control the incoming light. If there's a lot of light, they narrow the passage for light so as to not harm the vision. In the dark, the pupils expand to capture as much light as possible. Now, back to our mouths. The tongue has a lot of muscles, and some of them constrain only when you're learning a new language. A human bite almost always becomes infected because of all the bacteria that live in our mouth. In this sense, we're quite close to hyenas. Your bones are designed to be used a lot daily, and some of them can absorb two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. When you bite something, the teeth can exert incredible pressure, up to 200 pounds. By the way, the enamel is considered to be a part of your skeletal system. Our body is about 60% water, and it can be found even in bones. 
about 25% of the human bone mass is made of water. Hydrochloric acid in our stomach, also known as the most important defender of the immune system, helps get rid of dangerous food toxins, viruses, and bacteria you get with the food you eat. Even the stomach itself can be digested by this acid, but the mucous membrane protects it. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still stays one of the dirtiest parts of the human body. Ew. Millions of bacteria live inside it. The good news is that most of these bacteria are good for the body and protect it from bad bacteria and viruses. People and giraffes have similar necks. A person has the same amount of neck vertebrae as a giraffe has. The difference, though, is about the length. Giraffe vertebrae are about 10 inches long. Our spine can withstand pressure of up to 1,000 pounds. It would withstand an adult zebra. But please, don't try it at home. There are no zebras there, after all. When you lie down on your back and elevate the knees, the pressure on your spine is about 25 pounds. Not a zebra for sure, but a good-sized cat. Our spine is also very flexible. If we could bend it, it could possibly form two-thirds of a complete circle. Are we like snakes, then? In the morning, you're taller than in the evening. While sleeping, you're no longer affected by the force of gravity. And your spine stretches, giving you up to half an inch in height. Too bad you become shorter by daytime, though. A roller coaster actually tosses your organs around. So, when you feel like your stomach's falling down, it's actually flipping inside your body. You think your fingerprints are the only unique thing in your body? Well, they're not. Your tongue print and your smell are also one of a kind. If anyone sniffs you, it's reason enough to get suspicious. If all of your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, boy, that would hurt. But it would go around the Earth more than twice. An impressive feat that you wouldn't see because, well, you can't live without your blood vessels. You think you rest while you're asleep, but in fact, your brain doesn't. It's actually more active at night than during the day, processing all the info you've collected. So have some respect. The human liver is the busiest organ of the body. It has over 500 functions, and not all of them are even clear to the scientists. Ever wonder why you feel so sleepy after lunch? Well, that's because of your circadian rhythms, which have 24-hour cycles, demand you have a nap after 7 hours of being awake, and food just adds to this effect. Simple. Toothache and headache are linked together thanks to the trigeminal nerve. It goes through the jaw right to the head, so when you feel tooth pain, it usually goes hand-in-hand hand with that in your head. You lose calories doing literally anything. A healthy 8-hour sleep, for example, makes you lose up to 800 calories. And yes, you spend energy even while eating. Like all mammals, we have a diving reflex that slows down or even stops some bodily functions to keep us from drowning. That refers to heart rate, too. A person can go without food for more than 20 days. However, if you don't sleep for 10 days, your body will simply stop functioning. Talking about sleep, the average person forgets 90% of their dreams. And maybe that's a good thing. Otherwise, imagine how crazy the world would have been. The color of your dreams is affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If you're of an older generation that watch black and white TV, you'll see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams will also be colorful. Out of every 10,000 people on Earth, one person has their organs mirrored or reversed from their usual and customary positions. That is, their liver would be larger on the left side and the right kidney would be a bit superior to the left one. Speaking of kidneys, your left one is a bit more elevated than your right. That's because the liver is larger on the right side of your body. People with light-colored eyes, blue or green, are better at tolerating pain than those with dark eyes. Scientists think it might be related to melanin that affects the color of the eyes. The length of your foot is similar to that of your forearm. 
Don't believe me? Go check. I'll wait right here. Nah. Our skin is the biggest and fastest growing organ. Strong, but flexible. It's a waterproof yet breathable barrier that keeps us safe from the external world. Our skin regenerates itself. It helps with regulating body temperature and reduces water loss. This has helped us to evolve into what we are today. Our skin developed melanin, a natural pigment that blocks harmful UV radiation. Special sweat glands helped our ancestors regulate their temperature while walking long distances in unpleasant conditions. Your body has between 2 and 5 million sweat glands. The more active you are, the more sweat they produce. Your body has a mechanism to recognize it's time for you to cool off so you can keep up with the workout. Breathing isn't only about moving the air inside and outside. It's about the way you do it because it can literally affect your face shape. If you breathe through your nose, you'll get well-defined cheekbones over time. It will also make your face wider because your tongue will exert force against your jaw. If you breathe through your mouth, your tongue won't have a place to rest. It will change your facial structure as time goes by. Your face can be more narrow and your cheekbones won't be that visible. Also, if you're a mouth breather, you'd probably tend to tilt your head backwards more. This way, you increase cranial contents in the back part of your brain and directly change your entire posture, along with the shape of your neck and face. Millennials or people born between 1981 and 1996 are more forgetful than older people. The main cause of their forgetfulness comes from higher levels of stress. So hey, chill. Your left lung is smaller than the right one because it shares space with your heart. Humans don't have such big teeth as a tiger shark, or so many of them. But research says, even though sharks have teeth coated with really tough enamel, they're not stronger than ours. We have proteins that glue our teeth together to stop the entire tooth from cracking. We don't lose them, unlike sharks. Their teeth aren't attached to their gums on a root like ours. So, they approximately lose one tooth every week. Ever wondered why you have toenails? Nails are made of keratin. That's a protein you can find in fur, claws, hooves, and hair. Unlike claws, our nails are flat and wide. They shield the tips of our toes and fingers from injuries. Also, thanks to fingernails, we have a rigid backing that helps us grab and separate different objects. It would be hard to peel a sticker from the backing or pick up a jigsaw piece without nails. Apes and monkeys use their feet for similar delicate tasks as well. Scientists think that primates evolved nails to tightly grasp branches, remove ticks, and do other similar things. The human body glows in the dark, which means we're faintly bioluminescent. But that light is 1,000 times weaker than our eyes can see. Other animals will easily spot our faint light, though. Your eyes are pretty sensitive. You almost never get the chance to see how sensitive your eyes are because of all the light constantly surrounding you. Human cells are only 43% of the total cell count in your body, and the rest are microscopic colonists. That means you're mostly made up of bacteria and fungi. So basically, you're the mix of the DNA of gut microbes and your own DNA. The most abundant element in the human body is oxygen, at 65%, but it also contains lithium, cobalt, gold, and uranium. The rarest one of all is radium. On average, humans yawn 20 times a day, partially spontaneously. For example, when you're tired, but sometimes when someone yawns near you. Scientists think it could be a thing called social mirroring. Usually when animals mimic others, they recognize some action as useful, so they decide to do it too. With humans, it happens when someone crosses legs, laughs, smiles at you, or yawns. Hot coffee can taste better than cold coffee. Your taste bud receptors are most sensitive when your food is at or a little bit above room temperature. 
Hot coffee can then seem less bitter because taste buds that detect bitterness are more sensitive when the coffee is cold. Your pinky is a powerful little thing. Without it, your hand would lose a significant part of its power. Your index and middle fingers cooperate with your thumb to grab and pinch, and your pinky, together with your ring finger, provides grip strength. Your bones are four times harder than concrete. The strongest bone in your body is the femur. It can support up to 30 times the weight of a grown-up person. Even crazier is that our bones are made up of composite material, meaning they're both hard and elastic at the same time. The outer layer of your skin is thicker on your feet than on other parts of your body. The heart has its own electrical system and can continue beating even when it's disconnected from the body. The average lifespan of one eyebrow hair is four months. We spend 40% of our life with our eyes closed. Most of that time is when we're sleeping, but don't forget to count blinking too, or while driving. In an adult, the blood makes up 7-8% to of the total body weight. About 55% of your blood is liquid plasma. The rest is red and white blood cells and platelets. They form clots and prevent bleeding. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. The food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. Only a bit deeper, the passage splits into the esophagus and trachea. There's a name for the growling sound your stomach makes when you're hungry. It's called barbarygmy. About one-third of all people can raise one eyebrow, left or right. It's a great way to send a playful signal to someone while telling a joke. But the ability to raise both eyebrows separately is much rarer. If you're not among them, that's because you cannot yet control and move the corresponding muscles. But this skill can be developed. Stand in front of a mirror. Hold one eyebrow with your hand and lift the other up and down. And then do the same with the other eyebrow. This will help you learn moving them separately. If you can lick your elbow easily or touch your thumb to your forearm, congratulations! You're among the minority of people, but some people bring flexibility to the next level. This condition is called hypermobility. It allows rare individuals to twist their bodies into weird positions just like a snake, putting their head between their feet, doing a back bridge, and all sorts of splits. But in some cases, hypermobility can increase sensitivity because such people have a larger medulla. This brain area is responsible for processing emotions. These fearless heroes can walk in the cold wearing only swimming trunks and feel cozy. They can stand in the snow barefoot and even swim in a river or an ice hole. Usually, this talent doesn't come naturally. People temper their bodies for years until they get used to withstanding extreme cold. Of course, they don't do it just to look cool or feel cool. Do you feel ticklish when you tickle yourself? Normally, you wouldn't unless someone else tickles you. It happens because of the cerebellum area of the brain, which monitors movements, predicts the sensations caused by your own movements. Then, it sends a signal to other parts of the nervous system to cancel these sensations. But some rare individuals can actually feel ticklish on their own. If you're not among them, touching a new texture that the brain doesn't yet recognize or using a scalp massager can help to excite your nerves and bring relaxation. Stand in front of a mirror. Open your mouth and try to roll the sides of your tongue up towards each other to make a U-shape. About 65 to 81% of people are natural tongue rollers, and the majority are women. Some believed it's a genetic capability, but recent studies showed that people can actually develop this skill by practicing. Kachari mudra is a term from yoga that means curling the tip of your tongue back into the mouth. Can you wiggle your ears intentionally? Congratulations! Around 22% of people on the earth are capable of wiggling one ear. As for moving both ears at once, only 18% can do that. Ear wiggling used to be a common thing for our distant ancestors. Scientists believe they could perform a variety of movements with their ears. The group of muscles responsible for wiggling is called the auriculars, and we mostly don't need them today. But some people claim that everyone can learn to move their ears. It only takes time and practice. 
Unfortunately, we still can't acquire this classy habit of twitching an ear towards a sound source as dogs and cats do. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.